चुके थे most major difference is that in india lots of people wrote memoirs so in the us most people if they are actually interested in math and science they are able to understand it in their own way they are able to find so many resources about tutoring but in india lots of people are forced into the math and science pipeline even though they don't want to be so that means that most of them are only have room and only have time for just memorizing the definition from the book but one positive thing i will say india has that in the us and the education system is much less rigorous and teachers are often much less inspired and have much less uh, qualifications than in india where often teachers uh, have phd's and have worked in the field for a very long time so both education systems have their very big pros and cons there's no one formula it obviously depends on what your situation is and what your circumstances are and what you and your family have the money to buy i myself have been very lucky to be in the circumstances that i am because even though we're worse off than a lot of people we are better off than most people so i'm uh, so i'm so grateful for what i currently have on myself because most people don't even have the money to go, uh, afford a tuition or afford a good education or even afford tutoring so i think that the recipe to success is different for every person but if you have the same amount of resources if, as i've had uh, then i think that uh, the most uh, the most consistent strategy is just to always seek help at every step of the way because you know you can never do anything uh, big all by yourself no matter how big or how strong you are it always takes the contributions of someone else in part to succeed so that's why i think it takes lots of help and lots of teaching in order to get where i am today you know is that it will be standardizing education to be on the same system as western education especially with 11th and 12th grade now being added to high school yes. and while i uh, don't think i can comment on that because it's uh, kind of a minor change just changes what buildings students will be going to if there were any changes in the curriculum to make it more flexible i think that would be highly needed by many students i don't think it was phd level it was simply about the periodic table and second of all it was when i was 2 years old which was more than a decade ago so i cannot remember the question of course and the records of it i can't find on the voice of america channel where it was reported so of course i cannot remember that question on me right now but surely there's probably an archive of it somewhere on our own channel very science lab which you should visit and subscribe to it's important to uh, actually understand everything behind math and science instead of uh, just memorizing it because your phd and your future in math and science requires creativity because a phd requires discovery of at least one new thing no matter how small it is it has to be something no one has thought of before so any robotic format is not going to work you have to actually understand what you're working with and be creative enough have the creative thinking to utilize and apply those things in order to actually make a new discovery that's what i think our new generation needs for younger students and their perspective on math and science is very very bad most of them hate science most of them say they're bad at math and science most of them say it's for nerds and that's why they don't do it they just feel like in some way math and science education is not helping them in one way or another and that's why i think we need to not only reform our education but for the time being a practical solution to seek help from other sources not just textbooks but simulations your own family your friends professors at the nearby call co a community college or something have to seek more than just your teacher and your textbook so I think that that's going to be what helps the new generation in their perspective on science the most.